After traveling for quite some time, Odysseus and his men arrived on an island. After exploring the first part of the island, they decided to explore the rest of it. Upon exploring, they discovered a strange cave. Hey, let's explore this part of the island. That's good for me. Let's go! Okay. You know, looks like someone lives in here. Come away. We should check it out. Yep. Unfortunately for Odysseus and his men, there was someone in there. And he wasn't very happy about trespassers. Who is it that is in my cave? Odysseus and his men had stumbled upon an island of Cyclopses, and they had entered the home of Polyphemus, son of Poseidon. Who dares enter the cave of the great Polyphemus? My name is Noman, and I am a guest at your house, thus under the protection of my god Zeus. Odysseus, as clever as he was, didn't know that people outside of his culture did not follow the rules of hospitality. Foolish mortals, I do not follow your silly Greek hospitality rules. You have trespassed in my home and I am going to eat you all. Polyphemus captured Odysseus and his men, and because of his size, they could not fight back. After capturing Odysseus and his men, Polyphemus proceeded to eat two of the soldiers. He then closed the giant heavy door to his home, causing Odysseus to be trapped inside. Odysseus and his men brainstormed on how they could escape until the clever hero got an idea. How in the underworld are we going to get out of here? Uh... Oh! I got an idea! Okay, we can sharpen this pike and stab him in the eye. Awesome. Day 2 While Odysseus and his men were thinking of how they could start their plan, Polyphemus ate two more of the soldiers. And if that wasn't bad enough, a problem arose with their plan. How would they get the chance to stab Polyphemus? But Odysseus had another- How are we gonna just stab Polyphemus in the eye? It's not like he's gonna let us walk up and stab him. Well, we could give him this wine, and then he'll fall asleep, and then we stab him. Day three. With their new idea formed, they put their plan into action. Hey, Polyphemus, want some wine? Tastes really good. Not expecting any tricks, Polyphemus accepted the offering of wine. Yes, thank you. This sounds like some good wine. Ah, delicious. After drinking his fill of wine, Polyphemus proceeded to eat another two of Odysseus' men and go to sleep. Uh, that was some good wine. Uh, uh, I'm going to take a nap. While Polyphemus slept, Odysseus and his men took the sharpened pike and stabbed him in his eye. On the count of three, we'll stab him in the eye. One, two, three! Ah, my eye! After Odysseus and his men stabbed Polyphemus' eye, the Cyclops searched for them. But due to a clever trick of all the soldiers hiding under sheep, and with Polyphemus being blind, he was unable to see them or feel them around his house. So he screamed in order to get the attention of the other Cyclopses. But thanks to Odysseus referring to himself as no man, Polyphemus screamed for help, the others thought he was wrong. No man is hurting me! Okay! Wait, come back! Since Polyphemus could get no help, he opened the door to his house. Get out of here! Of course, this meant Odysseus and his men would escape, but Odysseus made a mistake. Run to the ship! Run to the ship! 
By the way, I'm Odysseus! Because Odysseus had gotten so cocky of his ideas, he decided his name should be known. But because he said his name, Polyphemus could call a curse on Odysseus. Curse you, Odysseus! I curse it in all your travels. You have many hardships. And even when it's all over, you don't return on your own ship, and all of your men have died! Because of this curse, even though Odysseus had escaped danger now, his journey home would be difficult.